hello guys welcome back again to the new video i hope you are doing good and in this video we are going to talk about incognition browser i have talked about this browser in my previous videos and there i taught you how to set up a profile but in this video we are going to learn about this browser and we are going to explore every option one by one okay from downloading to using every option i will be teaching all these things in this video so make sure to watch till end right let's start first of all search incognition right click on the first website and this is the original website where you have to download the app from just click on download and after that you will come to see this screen and if you are using windows operating system then click on this if you're using Mac, then click on this. I have already downloaded this ap application, this browser. So I don't have to download it again. I will just click on cross. Right. I will just search in cognition. Okay. So now you have to log in your profile or you have to create a new account if you are new to the in cognition. Right. Just click on create a new free account. I've already created my account, but I just want to show you the steps. After that, I will log in login my account right so here you will be redirected to this page pricing okay don't worry you can even sign up for the free package that will give you up to 10 profiles right with some limited options but if you want to go for the premium one you can try each of the options if you will ask me what is the best one you can go for this professional package it has a lot of the options that you may like it right so you can click on click try for free now right After clicking on it, you will see a screen like this, right? So then click on proceed to checkout. You will have to pay even nothing, even a single penny. You don't have to pay anything. Then click on register. Here you will enter your username, right? Then make sure to add your original email. Don't add any temporary mail because later on in the future, when you will be trying to reset your password, you won't be able to retry your password, right? Or that you need your own email. So I would recommend you to not to use any temporary mail, always use your own email, right? By filling all the details, click on register, right? After registering your account, you come here, enter your username, just like I'm doing, then entering your password, click on remember me, then sign in. So finally we have logged in. Now we will try each and every option, okay? So first thing is home. Here you can check for the updates. You can even uh, refresh the cognition. If you click here, it will restart your browser again, right? And then these are the options you don't have to use. For a normal user, you don't have to click on any of the option, right? And if you're unable to update your browser, then you can click on force browser install. It will help you, right? Click on the second option. This is profile management. This is where you will be keeping all of your profiles. Right, to create a new profile, you will have to go to this option. Right, new profile. And here you will enter the necessary details. Right, just create a quick profile. Okay. The I'm entering profile one. Right, then you can assign the group if you want to. I will click on Facebook. I have created one group earlier, so Facebook. Then here you will choose the operating system Windows, Mac OS, then version. Okay, you don't have to make any changes to this thing. And uh, this is the randomized fingerprint. You can see, have a look over here. Is a resolution is 5120. Then fonts are 278. Media device 441. If I click on it, you will see everything is, has been changed. So this is how you will randomize your uh, fingerprint. What is fingerprint? Fingerprint is a unique identity, right? Every profile will be having a unique identity. You don't have to make any changes. Every time you create a new profile, it will give you give you a new fingerprint right if you come to the second section here you will you can add the proxy if you have if you don't have you can try it with the vpn i, I have some proxies i will click on socks 5 and then i will look for the proxies in my text files this is my proxy i have a lot of proxies but this one is a residential one so i'm going to use it control v that's all you don't have to enter anything if you don't have any additional information just click on check 
so you can see this is the proxy right then the state time zone everything is just being written over here long longitude latitude right that time zone if you think if you sometimes get an error of time issues if you get some time time based issues then you can click on untick this thing and you can enter the time manually but i would recommend you to keep it out automatic so that you will not have to enter it manually then this thing web rtc you don't have to make any changes then geolocation no issues no changes right then this thing advanced one there is nothing that you need to do everything will be automatically done by this browser okay but anyhow if you want to make some changes you can come here you can come to the navigator you can add your additional information if you want to add something specifically right here you can see hardware concurrency you can make some changes to it if you want to increase or decrease the device memory so just make sure this is not the real memory this is what we want to show to the website which we are going to browse right then extensions you can add the custom links then fonts if you want to make some changes to it you can you can see 82 fonts then 261 this is how we randomize the every information right just just like these fonts then media devices hardware dns others okay everything is all set you don't have to make any of changes to these things these are advanced settings okay i would recommend you not to interfere with these things right we're coming back to the overview then we are creating that profile i will show you some very cool options in this browser that will be regarding automation then just cookies as well right we'll just click on start and i can now one thing i wanted to tell you that you can even use 10 profiles for free forever you don't have to pay even a single penny right so if you want to use more than 10 then you will have to buy a plan right to check on anonymity we will choose or we will go to whoer.net here we will check how secure we are are we 100 secure or not right so sometimes proxies are slow we have to wait for a while okay so here you can see we are 100% anonymous right this is a destination proxy and you can see proxy no anonymizer no back blacklist no right this is how we are going to use a proxy in it right so and now i think you have an idea how secure this browser is Right, we will be using some of the options of this profile i will come back to these options first of all let me explore some more options or the sections that we have then team management if you have a team and you want to assign a specific role to your team members you can use this option clicking on new team member and entering these details then saving team members then here the permission okay you can give specific permissions to the specific member then roles okay you can untick or take the permission that you want to show to your team member and things that you don't want to show okay everything would be saved over here coming back then you have an option of my account you click on account settings here you will see your plan i have a professional plan right then entering enabling or disabling profiles is over there you can even transfer the profiles and here you can tick or untick the cloud saving okay whatever you will be using on your profiles it will be saved on the cloud and if you don't want to use it you can untick it right then there are browse settings you don't have to make any changes then fingerprint no changes automation you can turn it on or off as per your need right then integrations there, there is a blazing seo and proxy six okay you can enter the api key you can even log in into the blazing seo if you have an account okay i don't have an account so i'm not going to log in and other also these settings are okay you don't have to make any changes then clicking back right so then browser management okay this i told you that you can add the custom extensions in it okay you can just enter the link over here then you can click on add this is how you can add uh, extension manually by not selecting by not going to any chrome web store and just looking for particular particular extension okay you can just save those links in your text file and then you can copy them from there to here right coming back then proxy management here you can add proxies i showed you how i 
add it a single proxy you can even add 12 proxies i will click on bulk i'll go back here i have a lot of proxies Control a for select all Control c for copy all right then Control v for paste then click on check here you can see now i will click on import okay so i have added every proxy over here okay you can see we have added a lot of proxies over here right so you can even assign those proxies to particular group as you can see unassigned 120 okay so you can add some proxies for facebook some for instagram this is how you will be differentiating each and every option over here so this is really good that you can simplify things as per your need so i would say this is the best browser for that thing for our teamwork this is really a very best browser just click on select all if you want to delete then go to action then there's an option of delete profiles remove proxy from profiles as well okay this is how like this is you are creating the this is the section but if you want to remove those proxy from the profiles you can also tick this one then continue okay we are done with this option then here you can create groups as i was telling you this is other sign you can create new groups like facebook instagram right so we are done with proxy then synchronizers okay this option i will show you in the profile section then help and support if you have any question you can contact support you can even check the documentation regarding features if you want to learn to use any specific feature you can check the website and if you have any technical issue you can click to troubleshoot over here right also we have an option of single profile work profile okay i showed you how to create a single profile okay so we can create in bulk as well i will click here for this you need a command okay i will give you that file in the description i have an excel sheet i come here and from here from starting to end control c then coming back and control v then clicking on check then import so this is you can see how i created a lot of profiles within a gap of some seconds so this is how you can do bulk work okay you need this command also you have to modify it if you want to create some more profiles okay this can't be done very easily and for i will give you a web page that you can visit and it will help you to create more profiles like this okay to delete the option is same i will just keep the first profile to show you some of the options right then click on action then clicking on manage then delete I'm going to delete all these profiles. I'm just skipping this one, first one. Okay, so we will be performing some automation on it. So just suppose I have just created this profile. Okay, let me just move the proxy first. Because some the proxies are slow. I have to perform some action, so I need that speed. Okay, so now we have no proxy. Just click on these three dots. Here you will see some of the options. These, these are really nice options. First one is synchronizer. First of all, I will be talking about cookies. So what is cookies? Cookies is basically your information, what you have searched on the browser, what you have entered, what sort of details you have entered to a particular site, right? Just like Facebook, you have entered your email password, you have entered your email password on Instagram, you have logged in in any of the shopping websites like Amazon, Flipkart. All the information will be stored in the form of cookies. So this is what called as cookies, right? So here, there's a very nice option of cookie collector. If I click here, Okay, I will have to enter the website where I want to collect cookie from. Just suppose you are logging in the Facebook account, right? You are logging on the Facebook account and you go to the Facebook first. And what happens when you log in, you see an unusual device logging in that, right? Because profile is really new and you haven't done anything on that. And the profile is new. There's no history. Okay, there is no presence. So for to avoid that thing, what do we do? We just use a cookie collector option. It will just have some history. It will have some browsing history. It will have some presence in that particular profile but it will look like it is a old profile although we are using the new one i will show you how just click on load example list here some of the website okay it will take a lot of time so i'm going to remove some of the websites we will be using just only four right you can also make some large large history or short history here some of the options click on visited sites 
scroll down on pages we can scroll down right so i will click on start collecting you can modify options as per your need so you will see i'm not going to use my mouse okay so i i did not even open my profile okay it will scroll down it will open the profiles and just make some history on it okay so i think we are done with the cookies connector so i will click over here and i will go i will import i will click on export cookies okay so we are now exporting the cookies you will see a prompt to save on a particular folder okay so we have got the prompt i will click on downloads here i will save okay i have saved exported the cookies now what i will do i will clear the cookies first okay now if you suppose you have deleted the profiles and you want your logins all of history back then you can click here then you will come to cookies then import cookies right so it is in the json format it will click on downloads then this is cookies just drag to this box okay cookies have been added then import cookies okay now we have imported the cookies right so this was the cookies option and then now we have this one synchronizer so now what you have to do you need some profiles for that okay i will create some profiles okay so i have created about two profiles and total are three one so you need a dependent browser or the main browser so first of all so if i click on synchronizer this is my the first one is my main synchronizer right this browser will be followed by these two okay i will show you just have a look at it the, this one will be dependent one because it will follow the new profile profile one and this one also will be the dependent synchronizer i click here then dependent synchronizer right okay now you can see if i'm typing something over here okay if you click on facebook.com okay you can see i'm doing i'm performing action on the one profile it is automatically applied to the rest of the profiles if i click on new account so you can see another two profiles are working automatically right I'm adding my name and second one 30 14 so everything is being filled on the second and third profile so this is how you synchronize the rest of the profiles with the one profile so make sure to just uh, turn on option this one this option for one one for main synchronizer and another then the other profiles will be the dependent profiles right this was about synchronizer so, so this thing was all about incognition browser where i taught you about profile management key management account then browser management then proxy management then synchronizer these are really co cool options these are some of the cool options like cookies then the synchronizer then the proxies right you can also clone the profile right so this was all about today's video if you like the video do let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions you can write your comment and for that bullock profile creation you will get the link in the description right so goodbye see you in the next video